If you want to have a great looking lawn, you've got to have good soil. And nowadays, most of us just don't. And the problem is, improving your soil is a lot of hard work. You can do things like top dressing, put down soil, peat, compost, but it all will wear you out. But in this video, I'm going to show you a way to improve your soil without all the hard work and to get it done so that you can really have a great looking lawn. Before you buy that next bag of fertilizer, remember that soil is key if your lawn is going to do well. And even if you know that, the problem is improving poor soil is a lot of work. And it just is beyond most of us in terms of budget or even if you've just got too much space to make it practical. So what I wanted was a solution that was easy, cost effective, and really worked and could improve my soil with proven benefits. And that's where I finally got a solution that could work for me. And here is the solution. Humic DG is a concentrated form of humic acid in granular form. That just means it's pellets that I can load right into that spreader right there and spread on my lawn. All you need to know about humic acid that matters is by adding it, your lawn will have a better soil structure. And in fact, some studies have shown that it would take thousands of pounds of organic compounds, things like compost, to equal what humic acid can do. So think of it like a concentrated boost of organics, but it's more than that because in addition, humic acid allows your lawn to take in nutrients much better than without it. So all that means is if you put down fertilizer or other supplements, Adding this humic acid allows them to be more readily absorbed into the lawn. Now this is a huge deal and I don't want to bore you with more details, but that's why you want to use it in a nutshell. And here's a close up of the label if you want a little more information, but this humic DG is much better because it's low dust, it's not toxic, and it's very easy to apply. Now in my case, I still like to wear a mask just to reduce any dust that I might breathe in, but as I was doing it, I found out that I really didn't need to because there just wasn't much dust. And I also wear gloves just in case, but again, this is not a toxic product at all. In fact, I think it's technically organic, which makes it even more unique for your lawn. If you look closely inside my spreader, you'll see that orange cover, and many spreaders include this, but it's not for what you think. Most people assume that that cover is to use when you have leftover product in the spreader that you can put that cover on and store it. That's completely wrong. The point of that cover is so that on a rainy day, just like it is here, you can fill your spreader up with product, put the cover on, and you can actually spread even in the pouring rain. So what happens is the product stays dry so that it'll still be able to be spread out. And lastly, I'm adjusting the spreader so that the settings are going to match what it recommended on the bag. You want to move these bags around as little as possible. As we all get older, our backs can sometimes be sore, so any chance like this to avoid picking it up helps. So whether or not you've got a pickup truck or you've got something else, try to leave the bag up high and push your spreader under it. That way when you open it, the product will go in and you can just avoid lifting it once more. And another thing to note is that my glove here is clean even as I'm running it through the humic acid. This is a high quality product that's very dust free. That is not the way most humic acids are. Some of them can get all over your clothes and really make a cloud of dust. Fortunately for me, it wasn't raining right now, but it did start just as I went to get ready. So this cover is perfect. I'm going to put it right on. And as I mentioned earlier, because it was going to rain out in a few minutes, now I can put this cover on and the stuff inside is going to stay dry. So this is perfect if you don't have a lot of time because now you can spread this stuff whether it's raining or not. Now that we've got everything loaded up, I've just got to put it down. Now this is even easier than putting down say fertilizer or insecticide because if I'm off a little bit or I overlap too much, that's not a problem. This is a soil booster. It's not something that's nearly as powerful as a fertilizer that's going to be gone in say a month. This is going to stay in the soil for quite a while. Most people will want to put this down about once or twice a year. Now you can see this part of my yard is pretty messed up and it needs some help. So that's why I'm putting this granular product down because it needs a boost. But it's just way too much area for me to try to add compost or do something like that. So in my case, and maybe yours, Adding humic acid like this in a granular form can be the best and easiest way to boost your soil. And when you're finally done with the job, don't get lazy and forget to rinse out your spreader after every use. If you do this, your spread is probably going to last forever. And if you don't, the insides and those metal parts are going to rot out. 
If you want to know more about humic acid, I've put some links in the description. And if you're interested in purchasing humic DG, I've also linked that as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also comment below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.